to today's FDS school and it's science class today. Today is Friday the 22nd of January and today's lesson we're going to talk about muscles. Last week we talked about the skeleton and the structure it gives you your body and today we're going to talk about muscles, different types of muscle and how they help your body to work. Now in the human body there's over 600 muscles and quite a nice little fact, in your face there are 43 muscles and just remember this is really important, it only takes 17 of those muscles to smile and it takes all 43 for you to make a frown. So it's a lot easier to smile than it is to frown. That's something quite good to remember. Now the artwork's not the, not the greatest but it's just to explain the different types of muscles you have in your body. So this is supposed to be your arm and the muscles that are in your arm. And that's called skeletal muscle, to give it the, the fancy name. And that's the muscle that attaches to your skeleton and helps you to move around. And you, your body has to decide to use those muscles to help you to move around. So that's the main type of muscle we're gonna look at in today's lesson. But the other um, types of muscle, you've got cardiac muscle, now, that's a, my diagram of a heart. The cardiac muscle helps your heart to keep beating all the way through the day, which is really important to help you live. And then this um, picture here is a picture of your stomach and your intestines. That helps you to digest your food. And those type of muscles in the body are called smooth muscle. So you've got smooth muscle, cardiac muscle, and skeletal muscle. So talking about the skeletal muscle, you've got some very important functions that skeletal muscle does. I've said one already, which is move, and then you've also got um, warming you up and helping you to cool down, so it, keeps, it helps you to regulate your temperature in your body, helps you to keep a nice steady temperature, and it gives you some padding and protection also. So we said last week with the skeleton that the bones are very hard, and help to protect your organs. Well, the skeletal muscle um, on the outside helps you to have that extra layer of padding and protection also. So if you look at, for example, sports where there's lots of bashing and crashing, the, the guys and the girls who play those sports tend to be quite big and have quite big muscles. So if you think of rugby players, for example, that's where that, that comes in. Okay, so, just to explain a little bit about how muscles work, they often work in pairs. So if you look at this part of the arm, for example, you would have what's called your biceps there and your triceps there. So when you go to move your arm, if I move my arm that way, this muscle works and this one relaxes. And then if I move my arm down that way, this muscle is working and this one relaxes. So they often work in pairs. And how they work is you have to tell them, tell them to work. And what happens is your brain uses something called your nerves and sends a message down your nerves to the muscle, telling it to move, and then it does its job. And the, the way that the skeletal muscle, the skeletal means skeleton, the way that it does its job is that it has something at the end, you might have heard this word before, called a tendon, which means that's where the muscle joins onto the bone and then when your brain sends those signals to the muscle through down the, um, down the nerves, it tells the muscle to contract, which basically means it gets shorter. So the muscle pulls together, pulls on the tendons, pulls on the bones, and that's how you move. And then if your brain is sending all the right signals, then you move and do what you want, which is kind of how your body would work when you play football or when you play sport or when you do exercise. So your brain sends the muscle uh, messages to the muscles and then your body moves and works like that. Okay, so that's a little bit of an overview of the, the muscle system and in the body. And as with our other lessons, we've got um, a little bit of an assignment that we'd like you to do. Now I couldn't draw the muscle system too well for this lesson, as you can see, that's just a bit of an example. So on the screen now, 
um, there's going to be an example of the type of diagram that we'd like you to use. You could draw it yourself or you could use um, something that you find uh, on the internet, which is what I've done with the picture that you're seeing now. And what we'd like you to do, and again, a little bit like the skeleton, depending on your age, depending, it depends on the, life, the, the level of detail we'd like to see. So for example, when you have your picture of the body, we'd like you to label as many muscles as you can. Now, for example, if you're a younger, uh, a younger child and you're in key stage one, for example, and you go to um, label the diagram, if, we, if you were labeling this part of the body, you might put calf, where if you're key stage two, key stage three, a little bit older, and you wanted to learn more about muscles in the body, because it's important um, for, for football and understanding how to look after your body, you understand how it works and, and the names and the, the detail of, of your body, then if you were labeling the calf, you might use the, the Latin name of the, the muscle called a gastrocnemius or a soleus. So you can go into lots more detail. And for the coaches who look at the work that you send in, they'll take your age into account, but we like to see as much detail as possible. And you can go and find out these things um, on the internet pretty, pretty easily and send us that work. Now, as normal, what we'd like you to do, once you've got your, your diagram, um, whether you've downloaded it or drawn it yourself, we'd like you to take a picture and send it to the WhatsApp number that's just gonna come up now. And then as normal, the coaches will have a look at what you send in and mark it. And then there'll be some prizes for the best bits of work we see. So good luck with that. Hopefully that's told you a little bit more about the muscles. Hopefully you go and find out more yourself and we look forward to seeing what you send in.